I see no ships. Oh, afternoon everybody. John again, just peering through my new creation. Now look at this beauty. This is a tunnel. You see all these out there in America, Midwest and all that, I think. Um, bridges of Madison County, all that lot, lot, you know. Obviously, it's a lovely little bridge. See the little vents there, the little vents. There and there. Beautiful little thing. I suppose you could block one end of it up if you, if you wished and just use it as a rail shed. You could do that. I've got it on a road, but obviously you can just shove a bit of, um, what's it called through there? Railroad. If I can find the Johnny. No, I'll do that later. Now, what I'm going to do today is show you how we can, um, how we can, uh, what's it called? Utilise our mental facilities and then uh, make the thing bigger. It doesn't have to be this size. Do you see that? Handsome, isn't it? Handsome. Um, what I mean by that is I'm going to sort of build it up bigger. Can you see that? Everybody? See that? Oh, look. <laughs> there you go. So I'll quickly show you what I've done here and what I'm going to do. Okay? Okay then. First we're going to start with a cup of coffee. Uh, I think that's what you mean. I think that's what you know. And what I'm going to do, you see this bad boy? That's the sort of size that, it, that it's been designed at, as you can see. But what I want to do is make it a bit bigger. So all I've done is drawn out the exact same shape, but to a bigger scale. You see? Sorry. <laughs> I knocked my tripod. It happens, you know. Um, and, and then I'm going to sort of just patch bits in from printouts I've already taken, which of course, remember, you've already paid for because you can print as many of these out as you want. So as I go on a little bit about, I know you, in theory, you can sort of do what, you know, whatever you want, as big, a, as big a shed as you want. I'd say this is about half as big again. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by patching it out. Just get me a little dagger here. Let's go across here. So take one of these off the bottom of my arch here with my straight line drawing device, I like to call it. Like this. Controversial. I don't know what made me say controversial because it's not really, is it? It's just using a ruler. So there we go. Bish. Bosh. Just shoving across the top there. A little old bit there. Just snip him off, snip them like that. Get me a little bit of what's that stuff called? Glue. That's a fella. I just get a little pokey stick, one of my brushes that I use for my painting. The hairy stick, I call it. There you are. There we go, bit of glue on there. Shove him on the in there, do you see? Lovely, and we're just patching them in, and this way you get quite a sort of rustic, um, I was going to say prosaic, but I meant completely the opposite. Sophisticated. Look. There we go, so that's that bit. Just patch another little bit in here, you see? So for that I go over to maybe one of the original walls here, and just let's have a look. Yeah, just without it, my straight, straight, line, uh, straight line drawing device this time. This time it is controversial. There we go, one, two, four, five, six, seven, about, that's about right, isn't it? There we are. So that's another sort of section of wall. And we're gonna chop him off. I love doing this sort of stuff though, because, you know, basically you're letting your imagination run wild, um, which is what we're here on this planet for, us creatives. You know, you and me, creatives together. Here we go, creating. Ho, 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 ho. Now, let's create a little bit more, shall we? And we're gonna have some sort of creation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, you see that? And now, what I've done here for this last little bit across the top, just chopped a little bit off there, you see? But what I've done this time, just to give you another little option is I've stuck it on a car that's a little thicker so that you're gonna get a bit of relief here. This is how you get your relief. This is all flat isn't it? I've just stuck them all flat so everything's flat so I haven't really done anything fancy. 
So here we go, I'm gonna chop this off like an arrow, it's like an arrow, look. Ish. When you do this at home, for our, for our younger viewers, always do it on a chopping board because you get in terrible trouble if you carve up the dining room table. I know because I did it. I got in terrible trouble. Awful. She went berserk! <laughs> oh no! I've chopped through it wrongly. Doesn't matter. No cause for panic. Never ever panic. All that is, I chopped through it wrongly. So I'm gonna do it with my scissors. You see? Actually, I'm really glad this happened because it shows that if you do make a mistake, it really doesn't matter. See, we've got a little, chop it off. There's a little crack there now. Can you see that? See that? Well, I've chopped it wrong. All I would do is put a little lick of paint on it. There, like that. Oh, luckily I've got the right paint on it. And then you've just got a little authentic crack in your, in your, in your um, woodwork, no problem at all. So, another little bit of glue, which I just got from the old pound shop, dollar shop I suppose in America, yen shop in Japan, you know, the, I don't know what they have in other parts of the world. Um, oops, I've done my old tripod again. <laughs> and then we just stick him there like that. And look at that. Hang on, let's get it just right. So now you've got that little bit of relief there, you see? Oh, there, it's probably best, isn't it? See that? We'll just let that press down properly. And then when that's pressed down properly, I'm gonna chop this out and then chop my roof out. And we'll, it's just a little corner section. You'll see the difference in size. And you start to see exactly what I mean. Okay, that's it for now. Right, so here we are. I've chopped out that larger version of the tunnel entrance. Now I'm just gonna score down the edge here. Not chop it, just score it like that. So that we can then, there we see. I would then put a lick of paint down that crease there. And there we have that, you see. Now what I've also done, I've got another roof from another model. This one, you see, I think it's from one of the rail sheds. And so that this goes on, and there we have it, oh, simple as that. I'll glue it on the top, I shan't bother patronising you going through that, we can all glue. And so you've got a much bigger version of the same thing, but with a different helmet on top. Well, roof, uh, you know what I mean. So there you go, that's your thing me bob for today. Brilliant, look at this wonderful piece. Bordering art that, no, it is art. See you next time.